Let's Chat tutorial. So, um, usually you'll see the look that I'm about to create, but because we're gonna be doing this as we go, you'll see as we go. So, um, I'll do my best to remember to say everything, and if I don't, I'll put it all in the description down below. So let's just get started. I'm gonna be taking the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, and I've never used this before. It looks like this. This is what I'll be using, and this is a moisturizer. It doesn't smell like anything. That's a good sign. I mean, not that that's like a good sign, like, um, usually the lotion I use on my face is unscented, only because my face is really scented. The rest of my body isn't, but my face is the most sensitive area of my whole entire, like, out of all of my skin, it's my face. And now I'm gonna just take my MAC Fix Plus to give a little bit more hydration to my dry skin. I wanna start off today with the eyes. I just wanted to do a little bit of prep on my skin. So I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion so we're gonna be using the urban decay Gwen Stefani palette um, it's a little hard to show because I don't want to blind you with the mirror so I'll have to hold it just upside down like this I'm gonna take the shade skimp which is this middle top row shade right here it's like a matte vanilla to set my eyeshadow down I'm gonna be using the real techniques contour brush just to pick this up on my lid. It's just gonna brighten up the eye look. And of course we're gonna just blend it out. I can't see my Okay. I'm gonna be taking Stark on my crown. C412 Deluxe Pointed Crease Brush. I use this all the time. And I'm gonna put this into my crease using windshield wiping motions. Just go back and forth, and then I do a little circular up a little to bring it higher when there's less product on the brush. Now I'm gonna take Anaheim on my Smudge Tache brush from Bogachi. And I'm just gonna keep this lower than I took Anaheim. Oh, I'm sorry, lower than I took Stark. Only cause it's going to just be more of a definer. And now I'm gonna take Zone, which is like a shade darker than Anaheim, it's this one, on the same brush and we're gonna go just in the same place. bit higher up just cuz I kind of like the little smoky effect it's gonna now I'm gonna be using my Rite Aid Renewal brush I'm gonna take punk which is like a red reddish brown color Like, okay, I normally do my right eye better than my left eye, but you sometimes the second eye you do comes out better than the first. I'm gonna take this brush again and take zone to blend. Now I'm gonna take Harajuku, which is this pretty pink. say this is an elf no it's not an elf brush okay it's um like this is what the brush looks like it's got like um it's flat but it's big and i'm gonna take the first on this and then i'm going to take some of this fix plus and just put it on to give it a little bit more of a metallic finish And 
And then I want a little bit of something, something to pop. Oh, you know what? First, I think I want a little, like I want a color over top. I'm gonna take steady on this brush. This is steady. tight lines and water lines previously before my video and I used my Maybelline to find a line but I'm just gonna go a little bit back in because it's like a little bit. So now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Master Precision um, regular eyeliner and I'm gonna just wing out my eyes and put on my Revlon flirty lashes off camera. I'm gonna be taking my Lorac Porefection mattifying face primer I loved, I got this primer last, last April, and I used this so much, like I don't even, I think I had like maybe one or two other primers, I was like, no, I'm using this one. I forgot how great it was, I totally recommend this. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation, and I just pump it onto the back of my hand like that and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush to buff this into my skin. I got this in an Ipsy glam bag. So I got it in my February glam bag actually. Testing it out for the first time today. I hope it works. You have to. It's thick. Okay, that could work. Do a little dot here, a little forehead, chin. It has a thick consistency. It says you're supposed to warm it up between your fingers. That's what I'm doing. Always stick to the instructions. I'm going to be using my Forever 21 beauty sponge today. I used this sponge so much before I got my Revive beauty sponge for Christmas. Um, I will admit this one, the top isn't as thin or pointy, which makes it a little difficult, but I'm trying not to use the same thing every video. Not gonna lie guys, I'm not feeling the concealer. It's hard to blend. I feel like it's settling. It could be the sponge too. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna just take my foundation brush again and just blend a little bit more out. I really think it's the concealer though because it's settling. And to set it, I'm gonna be taking my Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in, med in the shade Medium. Okay, I'm gonna be taking my Kat Von D Shade Lake Brush. Brows. I'm going to use my crown brush, brow duo spoolie, just to comb through my brows. And then I'm going to take my Ico brow gel and just place it on. I literally have the laziest brow routine, but I don't know. I'm not that much into filling. I like them looking nice and staying in place. I have other things I need to focus on a little bit more than my brows. Taking the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. I don't think they sell this anymore, but this is just basically little sizes of all the bronzers they have, if you didn't know that. I'm going to take my Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I'm going to be using 
a new brush. This is the Morphe contour brush. It came in there. Uh, they had like a set. They have little sets in like a bag and all these brushes come. Let me show you how cute I set mine up. I've been very hesitant to use these because they're very pretty. I have them in my little Tigger mug. I, te I feel that they're more decorative and that I shouldn't use them, but I have to use them because, you know, they're to be used. It's like, it's like China. You have to use it. Like the plates, not, not the country. So I'm going to take the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and Morphe has very good brushes. I'm not contouring my jawline today. I haven't been doing that lately. Kind of just like move my face a little bit more. Not so structured. Now I'm gonna take the same Kat Von D brush to just go over once more to brighten. shake out the powder every time. I feel like it's a more natural highlight than normal, but it's okay. I think sometimes you just need a little, you need to change a pace. I also didn't contour my nose. I'm just gonna take the other side of this brush because, and I'm gonna use the Milk Chocolate Slowly Bronzer instead for my nose. I feel like I always forget to include what I use on my like nose. under eye area. I'm gonna just take zone on my e.l.f. eyeliner brush. And to highlight my eyes, I'm gonna take the shade Pop on uh, Real Techniques Precision. using my face and eye highlighter from Soho. I just use this side. The high point of the brow bone to the tail. I've learned that putting it all underneath your brow bone makes your eyes look a little bit smaller. I'm going to be using the Sephora Ombre Obsession Blush Palette. I'm gonna take this peachy pink right here. I'll use my stippling brush. I'll use the Soho face brush side. You know, this brush works so nicely with it. Lastly, oh, not lastly, highlight. I'm gonna use the little shade in the middle. I'm gonna use it on this Royal Brush Essentials Contour Powder Brush. And a lot. And lastly, I'm just gonna be taking this Estee Lauder Pure Color Lipstick in the shade Bois de Rose. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my first Let's Chat tutorial. If you wanna see more Let's Chats or where like I'm talking as I go, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to be subscribed so you know when my next video is. See you guys next week for more Makeup Monday. And of course it's not okay. Oh my god, this is 20 minutes? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to cut so much out. This is 20 minutes and we just did eyes.